Heights is really a valuable, a valuable spot because it's cool air and there's shade when it's 90 degrees in LA and you're homeless and you're looking for a place to be cool and, and, and be safe and be peaceful. This was really my, an oasis for me. My name is Paul Mitchell and I am working my way back. I never stopped working while I was being homeless. I was out either looking for work or working. If I wasn't working, um, I'd have to find a park like where we're at now. A park where I, would be, I wouldn't be bothered. I could just get, if I needed to get some sleep, because it's really tough to sleep at night because you're not safe. This is, this was like, when I come here, uh, it's just bringing back all these memories. Uh, it's probably been 10 years, 12 years since I've had to be here, but it, I, my heart is kind of rushing now, just, just kind of being here. But this is where I used to, this is where I used to sleep. Right here, right on the slab right here. This is my bed. I put, I had, I had stashed a couple, few pieces of cardboard and this is one of the water, which is, this is one of the, um, the sprinkler systems that I, it would come on about, come on about 4.30 or 5 and I just rinse off, try to get as clean as possible. Um, and it lasts for maybe 15 minutes to water this place, this section. And then after this one stopped, then the, the ones, the, uh, the sprinklers in this direction would come on. I, I just understand that everyone has a dream. It doesn't matter how dirty you are. It doesn't matter, you know, what, how your clothes look. People have a dream. They want, people, people want, you know, to be successful in life. They want to have a clean house. They want to have clean clothes. And they want to be treated with respect. And, it, and until I became homeless, I didn't, I didn't, I couldn't really relate to that. So when I was homeless, this is where, this is what really inspired me. This is where I spent most of my time in areas like this because just because I was homeless doesn't mean I can't be inspired and, and this, this is the kind of environment that inspired me. One time, my wife and I, we were, we needed money to, um, just to get through the next day so we could have gas to, 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 until I got my check, I think it was that Friday, for a couple days. And we were in Hollywood, and I went to the, to, to the uh, fire station. A fire chief, a little bald person with his bald head and a little guy, no, you know, he's in, in Hollywood, he's sure he's still there. And he gave us $7. That was probably 10 years ago, 12 years ago, and even today, right today, that still touches me. Because he's, he told me, he said, you can do this, you know, you can do this. Just, you know, just do what you're doing, you can do this. It's not going to last forever. Painting, I don't know, I'm sorry. A painting has allowed me to, 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 to look inside of myself. And, um, and put it on canvas. It's, it's something that I've always wanted to do all my life, and, and I don't know what I would have, I don't know what I would have done without painting, without being able to paint on canvas. A person may be, they may be here today, but they may be doing better tomorrow, and um, um, that's where I'm at. I, you know. I, I'm doing better every day. I feel like, you know, that I'm, I'm re now I'm ready to go back for, to work. It's been three years. It's taken me three years to just to stabilize myself. Um, I, I, I found a place to live with, with Skid, Row, Skid Row Housing Trust. It's a shelter plus care, shelter plus care. And, and the, I have a key, I have my own room. I feel like a phoenix coming out of the ashes. It's just really inspiring for me, for me now because I didn't think I would ever be going back to work. Honestly, I, I, I just could not see myself. One thing I just couldn't, I just didn't have the mental capacity to even try to deal with a, 
a job, try to get my paycheck, and, and, and just try to maintain on the job because I didn't have the tools. But now that I have the tools and I have the energy and I have a place that's stable where I can go in and, and lock my door and get up and, and, and go to work the next day. And it's really exciting for me. I'm really looking forward to it. Mm -hmm.